Hey you guys, Molly here at Design Loves Detail and I'm so excited for this video. We are going to be talking about room styling and I'm taking you through the process. Um, I'm totally updating a space in our home and I think you're gonna love it. I'm gonna take it from where it's at now to picture perfect, so stay tuned. So here we are in this room that you guys might recognize. This is our bedroom in our remodel project home that we live in now. And it used to have a woven bed and kind of more of the blue green tones. And I just, it's a long story, but basically the nightstands that I had in here, those grid ones that I love, we borrowed them for the flip house and I was just gonna order another pair, but then they they kind of changed the finish on them. So they weren't the same color. And anyway, we ordered one and it came damaged and they didn't have any more. And it was like, this is nightmare. So I had no nightstands, but then I found the amazing woven ones here. These cane detail from Walmart that have sold out like three times. You guys buy them up so fast on my Instagram stories, but they're amazing and so I had those but my bed was that woven material and it was kind of driving me nuts because I was not loving that they were so close in color I just wanted a little bit of contrast enter this bed oh, this is one of those so beautiful it's from Bernhardt furniture which is one of my favorites ever they make quality furniture and the price right now so good I know a ton of you guys have told me you bought it um, it's 47% off so I will link it hoping there's still some in stock by the time you guys see this video I have posted it in stories of course just because it's such a hot deal and the fabric on it is gorgeous it's a grayish tone it's almost like cream and kind of that grayish fabric woven together beautiful texture just like such a high-end feeling bed it reminds me of rest restoration hardware and yet the price is really I think reasonable for what it is nice quality and just stunning you'll see by the reviews it's not just me that is obsessed with it so that being said I really had ordered it initially to go in the new flip and then when I got these nightstands I was like oh they would be so good together I wasn't wrong it turns out <laughs> They are awesome together. Where was I going with that? Oh, it needed to be with these nightstands, which were in my room. So I had Ben bring, bring the bed in, just like, let's see what it looks like. And the rest is history. Cause then everything started to go so that I could, I, and I have so much stuff. Like those of you guys who, um, if you do staging or styling, like in any business form, you know this, you kind of always have stuff on hand because you need to have it. So especially with how things have been lately and how long things take to get here, when we style our flip homes, we need to have stuff on hand and so luckily I had ordered this bed and then I had this rug also which is amazing and really it's just sort of been like I was like I bet you that I could just kind of grab stuff my own stuff shop my garage if you will and make a whole new room. And so basically that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna be bringing in pieces that I have had and that I've shared with you guys before. And sometimes I will buy things even if I don't have the exact right spot for it because the deal's so good and it's exactly what I love. And often that has worked out really well for me. You know, like I just had this rug and it was so perfect in here. I love the muted colors and it's Loloi. So it's the ones that are kind of like, almost like the foam mat. So it's like a pretty flat one. It's a printed rug, just nice and durable and great price point too. So anyways, it's just started kind of coming together. And then I have these last finishing pieces that I'm going to bring in and show you kind of how I style the room and get it all finalized, put together. A couple other things though, real quick, the bedding, I just have this really pretty simple white um, sheet set and duvet. Oh, and the new mattresses from Tuft & Needle, they have a crazy sale, 30% off mattresses and 20% off everything else, I believe it is. And it is for Cyber Week. So we have a few more days. If you guys are looking for any of that stuff, head over there now, because this is the best sale I have seen really the sales this week are just wild. So be sure to follow my stories so that you don't miss any of that because I, I feel like it's extra this year. Like every year it gets better. It's wild. So I will put the link for that in description. Don't miss that. And let's talk about the curtains. You guys remember we had the ones in here that were that really pretty. I loved them anyways. They were a sagey velvet and I tried to get more because I decided I did want to have them match on the window so that I had the whole room in the same and they were sold out. Everybody Everybody bought those. Uh, it's my own fault. I linked them. And then I so I, I just had the mismatch curtains and it was driving me nuts. And so it actually worked out that all of these other things came together because I found these amazing curtains. These are actually a blackout curtain. So I love those TJ Maxx ones that we used in the flip house that are lined linen. They're great for if you want to still have some light in, but in a bedroom, sometimes I do want to have the blackout. We just get a lot of light in this room. And so I wanted blackout and these are from Target and they look so high end. Again, 
with my favorite curtain rod. I left the rods and rings as they were, just the favorite one from Bed Bath & Beyond I'll link for you. But they just look so high-end and they are from Target. One thing to note is that at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, a lot of their curtains come with the two panels. So like you buy it and you get two panels in one order. And then these, they come individual panels. So just so you're, when you're comparing price and when you order that you get the right thing, it is one panel per package. But I still think that they're a great value and they truly are a blackout curtain. This is the Aruba Linen White. Even though it isn't really white, it's more of like a, it's kind of a grazy undertone too. So really similar. I did a lot of tone on tone, but you're going to see how I bring in some color, pops of color uh, to finish the space. So right now it's a, like a blank slate, really neutral, but we're going to change that a little. But I am loving that these are so subtle. So last time in my design, I wanted the curtains to be the focal part of the focal point. So I brought the color in with those. And then in this design, you know, I really wanted these, this warm wood tone to stand out and really help the, also the bed be a focal point. So when we have the wall and the curtains, a similar color, it helps those things stand out more. And you'll see too, when I bring the pillows that it will bring this, the focus right to the center. The other thing I was going to tell you, let's see. Oh, this room is 13 by 19 approximately. So it is a really good size. And, and surprisingly for it being a nineties house, you know, it was pretty big. So that part really has been fun to work with because it gives us a little space over there that I'm going to do a sitting area. I used to have a bench and I just wanted to switch it up. So that's going to be a fun, fun spot to change. And if you have a room like this, that's longer you know sometimes it can feel like I don't know what to do with this space like it's not balanced but a lot of times you can make a little sitting area which I really love just to give the room you know more function and also aesthetic appeal it kind of lets us have sort of a second focal type area on this wall so that it doesn't feel too plain and then you might recognize too these cute target cabinets they came back in stock recently i know a lot of you guys grabbed those from stories they are i think the only item other than the curtain rods that stayed in the room so they have been great the double kind of serves as like a um entertainment type center with some storage in there and then of course the tv above they actually came out with at target Target, a truly longer, what's it called? A, a true media console or sideboard cabinet that is the same style. So I'm gonna link both these and then the longer one too because it's actually a really good price. So that was kind of fun because I made my own and then they really created one. So thank you, Target. On this wall, like I was talking about, again, I wanted to keep it really subtle. I love the tone on tone. It's just giving this room a really airy feel, which I feel I especially love in a bedroom, just so relaxing. And so this art piece, <laughs> That is the, probably my favorite ever home goods find. I know some of you guys have found these too, these like paper pulp art. And one time I tried to make one, it didn't go great, but they are amazing and they do get them. They, I, you know, they do get them periodically in this acrylic frame. I, cause I did find that mate to this one. You probably have seen this in 12 spaces by now because I just can't get rid of it ever. And it just travels with me. So here's its current resting spot and I'm happy about it. I, I use it in the flip home to style, but then I did not leave it because it's my baby. So here it is. And then light fixture, that is the same too. So we have three things. We have the light fixture, the cabinets and the window, the curtain rods and rings that are the same. And now let's start bringing in some fun stuff. So here are these fun chairs. I love them because they have this beautiful curve detail. Curve shapes are very on trend right now. And then I just think that they feel like almost like an art piece um, with that cut out back so that you have um, just something really fun to look at. They go great with this artwork, both really simple, minimalist, obviously very neutral, but I'm gonna bring in a little pop of color over here too, so don't worry. Um, and then we have just uh, the pops of the warmer wood too that really like almost stand out more because I'm bringing a lot of these subtle tones, kind of tone on tone. back over here in this corner with my favorite faux tree right now. This is one that you might've seen over in the flip house, had to use it in this space too, because it is one of my favorite faux and it's just a great price right now. I'm going to link that as well for you, of course, in description. Um, I did the little shoe box trick or whatever box you have. So I put a box in the bottom of this deeper pot. If you use a taller pot, you can put a box or even like sometimes I'll stack old catalogs so that it gives us more height with the tree. I really like this height. I had that really huge tree in here before, which was fun as well in that other corner, but I 
decided I wanted to have something anchoring this corner of the room because when you come in the door, this is really, this wall here is really what you see most of. And so that pop of greenery is just so beautiful. Um, I'm using the word pop a lot. Sorry, that's annoying. I'll try and find another word, but that's what you got today. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm in a weird I mood. I really hope we keep that. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, this plant is great. It comes in a couple different heights. I think this is the six and a half and then there's like a five and a half, but um, it's a, it honestly looks, I feel like quite real. And it's, oh, one thing I wanna tell you guys about faux plants, when you get them in the box, sometimes they are crap. Like they're just like real stiff in there. Like, <laughs> like they are packed in the tightest way they can because obviously they're trying to be um, space efficient. And so don't be alarmed when you open a tree and you're just like, Ugh, that does not look like what it looks like on the website. You have to fluff the tree to make it it reaches its full potential. And a lot of times the branches have like wire in them. So you just kind of, you know, take some time and get it just right. And you can also kind of tailor it to your space. You know, like if you're fitting a corner and you want a little volume on a certain side or something, you can kind of pull the branches that way and adjust them so that it looks just right in your space. Um, but remember that because I sometimes feel like people are like, don't give trees enough of a chance when they're faux. You have to do your part, but you don't have to water them. So that's the upside. Side. That um, that pot there is a really great one from, where is it from? Ben? I'm looking at Ben, he has no clue. Um, it is from Wenobi Home and it is really pretty. I have a coupon code for that. Love the size of it and that it's just like a simple concrete pot. So let's move into a little more styling. Let's do these nightstands and see where we go there. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, I would say uh, as far as like styling a room, I start with the biggest piece first. So obviously that's gonna be like your bed and your rug. So rug has to come first because the bed's on top of it. So get your, when you have your empty space, lay out your rug. And I feel like also the rug kind of sets the foundation for the room. So like I'm gonna pull all of the colors that I really use in this space from this rug. So that's kind of like my beginning design point is, is finding that base layer, which is the rug. And then of course we have the gorgeous bed and then nightstands, entertainment center, chairs. And this art piece was already up. Normally I bring the artwork in about now. So we're gonna do lamps and artwork next because those are pieces that are also gonna help tie the room together. So this artwork, super simple. I actually, just it's just a print you can order online. And I wanted to bring in this sort of like vintage landscape feel. It goes well to me with the rug. Um, just kind of subtle pastel tones. Again, super relaxing. This is actually like a, a recreation of a vintage or maybe it's just a print of a vintage. Like it's like 17, 1700s artwork, but just a print. And then these frames, oh my gosh. So I was at Target the other day and they have have these and I love them. They have a curved edge, you can kind of see. They look so high-end. They have them in different sizes. They're great for gallery walls and was perfect for this. I wanted to go with like a more petite art. I just usually go big and I wanted to do something different. And I think this is gonna be really cute up here. And also in honor of doing like working with what I have. I had a mirror here, like a big round mirror, if you guys remember from the last room. So it's on that that hook and I was like, I don't want to put another hole in the wall and that's so high that I just tied. <laughs> So we're just improvising. I kind of think it's fun though. It's kind of quaint, like that it's on a little string, like it's kind of a hanging piece. I feel like sometimes when you have my old art teacher that I adored, she would always say things are happy accidents in painting and stuff. And I feel like sometimes we have happy accidents in design too. Like sometimes when you have to work within parameters, either that being budget or existing nail holes, sometimes you can come up with a solution that maybe adds something to the, the design in the end. Like it wasn't just for being lazy, which I kind of was, but I like it. All right, bringing in these lamps that are so heavy. <laughs> this is where you get your workout. They are one of my favorites. You might recognize these too. I borrowed them for the flip house and then swapped them out because they also were meant to be mine, like the artwork. It's a little possessive, but. So these lamps used to be a little better price than they are now. They've gotten more expensive, like so many things have, unfortunately. Um, so they are a splurge, but they are stunning. They're super heavy, like you noticed. And they just have that, you know, old world kind of handmade type feel, which gets me every time. Just bringing in one of those like real quality type pieces can give the whole room an upscale look. So this is probably my, my real splurge piece here. I am going to put the lamps off set just a little bit because we do have a good countertop or countertop, a good tabletop area on, on here for a little decor. I'm going to show you kind of how I style those. I like to do a little bit different thing on each one, but I am going to keep the symmetry with the lamps. Okay. 
I always like the lamp to be a little closer to the bed because of course you want to be able to reach it when you're in bed. Now we're going to move on to decor, which is so fun. Bringing in a couple of stacked boxes. I always love these. They're useful for your remotes and other little, you know, knickknacks. And then they have just a nice layered type feel to them. I did a bone box for the bottom and then this Lightwood McGee & Co Target one on the top. So they're going to give us a little bit of interest and then layers. Lots of layers. All right, and these pieces are going on the other side. We've got this cool clay lidded jar, which is handmade. It comes from, I think it was India. The store owner was telling me they have different family patterns that each family creates and sells. Really cool detail on this. And I, I got it locally. Um, so I don't think there's anywhere online, but if I see a similar one, I'll link it. It's just kind of a, a more one of those traveled type pieces. I try, like I tell you guys, I try to get, grab something when I'm traveling so that I have a little memory of that trip with a home decor piece. And then stuff like this that's handmade is just so, so fun to give us a little more character. Cute magnifying glass. Got this at Tuesday morning. I was telling you guys how I got a bunch of fun stuff. I'm just gonna set that there just as a cute little decor accent. You never know when you're gonna need that when you're reading in bed, so it's also useful. And then let's do some bedding. I definitely wanna bring a little color in the pillows because it's an easy place. Like if I ever get tired of the color, it's easy to swap out, but I think these are gonna be good ones. Got our stack of pillows here. We like pillows, so I usually do a couple pillows um, on each side and um, just keep them to match the bedding so that they're just simple, white. I actually need pillowcases on these, so we're gonna pretend that they have pillowcases, but right now they're just naked pillows. I stack these. This really gives, I feel like, such a luxury look. You know when you go to the hotel and the bed's just like so fresh and crisp and white and fluffy and pillowy? That's kind of what we're doing here. So um, we'll get these all floofy and then go to our next accent pillows, which are way more exciting. I know those are not a big moment. All right, and these are our Euro pillows. If you guys have seen, I have two videos on making your bed look luxurious, which hopefully will pop up magically so you can click on that. These are, so Euro pillows are about 26 by 26 inches. Love that they are square so that they break up kind of the rectangular shapes um, that we have with the others, the more typical sleeping pillows. And these shams are gorgeous. I saw that they're in stock and they are on sale. Right now, so many things are on sale. So if you want something, get it now. But these are called, they're a linen. Um, I love linen bedding. It's just got that high end feel. And it has that little crinkle to it, which is, I don't know, it's just so pretty and fresh. So these are are called shale. The color name is shale. And they have a bunch of colors in their linen line. Really nice. And this color, I love it because it's almost like a mossy green brown, but it's not too, like it's gray green brown. Like it's like an in-between color that just goes with so much. Um, you can see in the rug, it really pulls uh, some of the accents in there. And it's got an earthy feel, kind of like what looks like this. I mean, I'm thinking of things like like a swamp, but it's not, <laughs> that wasn't very appealing. I feel like there's actually, oh, mushroom. It's a mushroom color, thank you. Mushroom, the color is mushroom. <sighs> Like if you think of a mushroom, like the underside of a mushroom, I wish I had a mushroom because you flip it over and it has those weird like ridges underneath. That's this color. So anyways, love these pillows, great color, really unique. Also, bedding is like fake trees. You need to fluff it if you want it to be looking, you know, magazine ready. Just kind of go through and make sure pillows are placed right and lined up and, and equally fluffy. And sometimes these ones have to get tucked. I love these pillow covers that have uh, the part that like makes a little envelope for your pillow so that you don't have like pillow tags hanging out or anything. It's just a little more clean. Here are my finishing touches for the bed. Um, again, like I say, I'm just bringing in a little bit of color for the for the bedding. This is kind of a, a subtle one, but bringing a little bit of this linen stripe, I think is so beautiful, especially where we have kind of a floral type rug. Having a mix of stripe and a little bit of that other pattern just is so beautiful to me. And then you can see that the bedding's fairly simple. We just have those pops of color. And I actually am bringing the same shale color in this beautiful blanket. This is one of my favorites. I will link it as well, again on sale. And it just has some really nice texture to it. And we're gonna do this one. Layered bedding just adds so much to a space. I really want this room to feel cozy and the upholstered bed totally lends itself to that as well as these layers that we're gonna put on the bed. So this one I think is sold out, but I'm gonna find you guys as similar one as I can and include that because I think this is actually like not just sold out but it's no longer available. I'm not 100% sure on that though so so we're gonna just kind of 
layer this one on the bottom, tuck those tags in, and give us a little bit of this color. Mainly, honestly, more than anything, it's like texture, right? Like I'm always talking about how I use more texture than I do color. Um, we're kind of doing a mix, but this one layered on top of that. And then these ones, these kinds of blankets that are gauzy, I guess that's the word for it, kind of gauzy like this. Um, I like to let them just kind of be a little bit, a little bit more loose and fancy free, but not as worried about it being tail real tailored looking. We want it to have a little bit of movement and just give you the feeling that, because sometimes beds can get where they feel too tailored and then you don't want to mess it up. We want this to feel like you do still want to jump in there and it's just going to be so cozy. And so these, you can kind of see how these colors all tie together and carry throughout the space and give us a little bit of that layering detail that kind of feels more finished than how this was before when it was all neutrals and all plain. This is bringing that grounding element of these earthy colors and this whole palette just sort of comes alive. Got some really fun vases going over here. I kind of forgot I needed to do my accessories on this side. Obviously TV cords are not my favorite. I'm going to bring in a vase to kind of hide that one. We've got these for some height here. It will go like this. And sometimes having pairs like this makes it really simple for getting a little bit of that symmetry feel, even though it's a little bit asymmetrical. Um, it kind of feels finished though to have like a little pair. I'm gonna bring in a little more pottery, a couple other pieces. I always love a good stack of books. These look cute on nightstands or really, in this case, we're kind of wanting to conceal the seam since I did a two part thing here. Yeah, that's the one. He's gonna hide that cord pretty well. Got like remotes in there. Maybe we'll spread these out a little bit just kind of to get a little bit of interest going here. And then sometimes I like to bring a little on top of a stack of books, a little something like a magnifying glass or a little accent piece that kind of finishes the look. Here are a couple examples of what I was meaning with um, accent pieces, you know, maybe like kind of a sculptural item can be good on top of the books or something like this. Maybe just like a lidded jar. I think that's probably gonna be the one because I like how this color ties in with our, our rug as well. Kind of in those earthy greenish tones. Let's see, where do I want that guy? It's probably good. So I stood back and looked at this and I thought it looked kind of dumb. So um, actually I stood back and I'm like, that looks like crap and Ben was laughing. It needs, I don't know, we need a little something. So I'm thinking maybe more like pottery so that it feels like Let's see if that looks like crap. I feel better about that. It looks a little more balanced. It was just like not really balanced before. And you can still achieve balance with asymmetry because obviously each side is different, but it still has a sense of, of same, ver you know, varying heights, but visual balance. And another thing that is probably important to point out considering that I stood back and was like, that sucks. If you don't love something, just keep playing with it. Like just, it's not like, it's not just gonna always come out exactly right the first time. So don't be intimidated, man. And when I think back on like how I used to decorate you guys, it was not amazing. This is a lot of, of time and effort put into rooms, you know, and always working on how, how it can be better and stuff. Like when I, our first house, I mean, it's been many years. I was young and naive and I questioned my taste back then, but I've come a long way. And I think that you need to remember that, like, don't be intimidated by if yours isn't looking like just how you want it or how it looks on HGTV or something. Like you just keep working with it and playing with it. And sometimes the best designs have just evolved over time and kind of through a collected manner. Okay, so we need a bench. I'm gonna bring in a bench just to have a little something. And then my last thing I think is pillows on those chairs. So this is the bench I'm thinking of. I love this one. Hopefully it'll be back in stock soon. I love this like buttery leather color, just warms up any space. Um, so that ties in, you know, a little bit with our nightstands. And then I'm gonna bring in a lamp actually for our chair corner, because I think we need a little bit of height, you know, with the tree over there. I think that left side needs just a little bit of height. We do have a little bit of accent with the door with this sliding barn door, it gives us a little bit of an element on this side, which is nice, but I think having, having this lamp will also give us uh, a little bit more balance. So there's that. And then this black metal accent of the lamp base ties in well with the bench base as, as well. So you see kind of like just a little bit of that modern detail. All right, Ben and I are debating though, because there's probably about three feet between here and here, which is like my minimum for a walkway. And Ben thinks it's too tight with the bench. 
course, I'm like fine with it because I want the bench. <laughs> but you guys can uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about that. Oh, I gotta show you two pillows. The last thing, the very last thing, I'm gonna grab these pillows here. Um, I told you, as promised, that I would bring a little bit of color to this side of the room because um, we don't want it to be all neutral. So these really fun pillows, they're actually by Loloi as well. I don't know if you guys know, but they do pillows too. I think that they're the perfect little detail to tie in with that sort of coppery, rosy pink kind of just like a really warm pink. So pretty, and then they have some nice contrast with these subtle velvet swivel chairs. So I think that that is our finishing touch for this space. So let me know what you guys think of the new space. I'm loving how it came together. I actually like it better than the old one, but I wanna hear what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite item is in the new space, or if you like the old space better, I wanna hear that too. Give us a like, and then of course the comment, and we'd love to have you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of future videos. We have all kinds of things coming up, as you know, and I'd love to have you along for the ride. I'll see you guys next time.